one suspect so far male in black clothing firing rounds. The terrorist attack last week in San Bernardino has frayed nerves across the country, precisely because of its suburban nature, adding to a sense the enemy is within, undetected, simply waiting to strike. The quintessential American model of integration feels under threat. For America's Muslims, the backlash, the Islamophobia, has been building for months. Muslims is evil. This local planning meeting in Virginia provides a glimpse into the angry mood. The discussion was about expanding a nearby mosque. Every Muslim is a terrorist. Period. Right now. Shut your mouth. I don't want to hear your mouth. The attack by Syed Farouk and Tashfeen Malik has created a febrile atmosphere. Locals saying they can no longer trust their Muslim neighbors. I feel scared. I don't want to go out. I'm, I canceled our Christmas plans. I'm not traveling. So this would make you have second thoughts about, for example, uh, an ordinary Muslim family moving into the neighborhood? I think it would. I hate to say that, but right now, that's how I feel. Would you favor a register of people coming in from the Middle East? Absolutely. Wow. Wow. The national anxiety fueled by the presidential campaign, with one Republican candidate talking of a growing threat. This horrific murder underscores that we are at a time of war. And another describing Syrian refugees this way. If there's a, a rabbit dog running around your neighborhood, you're probably not going to assume something good about that dog, and you're probably going to put your children out of the way. For American Muslims living here in Southern California, in fact, across the country, the nature of the attack that played out here is really something of a nightmare. Rightly regarded as well assimilated, they are now having to reassure colleagues and neighbors they are not a threat. At local mosques, they are trying to do just that, but also vowing they won't be driven into hiding. We need to be courageous. We don't, we, I don't, we don't live in fear. This is my city. This is my county. This is my state. This is my country. Is it illegal to pull it out? I don't know. But any fear would be understandable. This president of a leading U.S. Christian college had a gun in his back pocket as he addressed his students on Friday. If more good people had concealed carry permits, then we could end those Muslims before they, before they walk in and kill them. Perhaps no wonder so many are fearing the backlash has just begun. Robert Moore, News at 10, in California.